Hey YouTube! Today I'm going to talk to you about what to do and what not to do if your dog were to suddenly run away from you and not listen when out and about. Now quickly I want to talk about what not to do using a story of what happened yesterday at the park. I was walking my dogs and this loose dog ran over and as the owner approached her dog acted fearful of her and then ran away again. Luckily, a stranger was able to capture her dog for her, and as she approached her dog, she obviously was feeling emotional, she probably felt embarrassed and angry, and what happened was, as she took her dog, she took out her emotions on her dog. She most likely was thinking that by acting angry and aggressive towards her dog after catching her dog, it would teach the dog to, to listen to her and also to not run away from her. But what she actually was teaching her dog is that if her dog is loose and she approaches her dog, something terrible will happen when she actually catches her dog. So she literally was teaching her dog to avoid her if the dog were to run away from her in the future. So that is probably the same reason why when her dog was sniffing my dogs that as she approached her dog acted fearful and then ran from her again. So it's very hard um, for us as humans to not act emotionally, but in order to train our dogs, we have to put our emotions on the side and think about what will affect their behavior in the future. So I'm gonna tell you what you should do if your dog were to suddenly run away and not listen to you. If your dog were to run away from you, it's important to quickly assess how dangerous the situation is and act accordingly. For example, if your dog is running towards a busy road and you know that yelling at your dog is going to get your dog to stop in his tracks, then do it. Worry about your dog's safety first and what will keep your dog safe, and then you can think about training later. But in the next example, I'm going to talk about what to do is if there isn't a dangerous situation happening. Say your dogs run away from you at the park and they're safe. What you can do to get your dog to want to come back to you is to act happy and excited rather than angry and annoyed, which usually makes dogs want to stay away from you. So you can use a high-pitched voice bah, 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 and pat your legs. I wouldn't suggest approaching your dog. You can go to the side. So if your dog is over there, you can run sideways back and forth. Running away from your dog can help, but obviously you're creating more and more distance from your dog. So I suggest zigzagging to the left and the right. And you can actually even approach your dog without them knowing it by slowly zigzagging towards them. Uh, another idea is dropping treats and running. Um, another idea is laying down on the ground and making high-pitched noises because most dogs find that it's not a threat if you were suddenly to lay down on the ground. Now, if none of that works, I suggest going over to your dog in an arc. So if they're distracted by something, instead of a direct approach, you're going to arc around and try not to look at your dog as you go to approach them. And the final step is when you do get to your dog, when they're distracted by something like a stranger or another dog, you're going to get your dog in a neutral manner because this is going to train them in the future that nothing bad happens when you actually do get them. So say they're sniffing on the ground, you go over and you grab their collar in a neutral manner or pick up your little dog in a neutral manner and try your hardest not to take out your emotions on your dog because it is going to be a little bit embarrassing if you're out in public and your dog's not listening to you. There are a couple of things you can train now to set yourself up for success if this situation were to happen to you. One is proofing a recall with distractions. I'll put a link in the description. Another is teaching tricks that will, as a result, get your dog to come to you because they want to do that specific trick. One of them is asking your dog to touch your fingers. I'll put a link on how to train that in the description. But basically you say touch and your dog comes and touches your fingers and then you have a dog that is with you or maybe they have a trick where um, they jump in your arms if you have a little dog and you can say jump up and then you've got your dog. That's my favorite one for little dogs. Or maybe they like waving your legs or going between your legs. So you can give them that cue and if they love it, they'll come running to do that behavior. Um, if, if for some reason their recall has been um, poisoned. Okay, the other thing that you can do is teach your dog what to do if they were ignoring you. Say they've run over and they're smelling another dog and you want to now collect them in a neutral manner. Now, without training, some dogs can find it extremely punishing to be picked up or have their collar grabbed and pulled away from something that they like, like another dog. So 
In training sessions, you can teach your dog to find these behaviors neutral or even pleasant so that if you do need to go and get your dog, your dog's not seeing you as this really horrible thing that's coming and spoiling their fun. So one thing to do with little dogs is first handling and then work on picking them up. So you're just going to touch them on their sides. Good. And use a marker word and then feed. If you have a dog that's very uncomfortable with being picked up, you can teach them to jump on your lap. And I have a video on how to teach that. Ready? Jump up like this. So you bend down and then they jump into your arms rather than them being picked up. Good job. You're just going to touch your dog on both sides. Good. And then feed a treat. If you have a helper, it's easier. Good. And you can see he's a little uncomfortable about it. He's like, oh no, what's going to happen? Good. Good boy. Ready? Good. Good. If you have a larger dog, you're obviously not going to have them jump in your arms or carry them, but you can teach them the collar grab. And I have a video that goes from start to finish on how to train that, but that's basically teaching your dog that when you take their collar and lead them, it's simply a cue trained with positive reinforcement to mean move with me in the same way you would train a recall so your dog enjoys coming to you, your dog is enjoying being led by you. Um, and without prior training, a lot of dogs find this extremely punishing and intimidating. So when they're loose and you have to grab their collar and you haven't trained it, you're basically training your dog not to be caught by you because they're going to start avoiding it if they find it a punishing experience.